Pula, Malele, Talofa, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 31 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com, a wrap of Pacifica People's Sports News on a bright and sunny Monday morning, 31 July 2023. Happy birthday, Calden! Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In the FIFA World Cup games yesterday, Morocco beat Korea 1-0 in Adelaide. Norway thumped the Philippines 6-0 at Eden Park in Auckland. And Switzerland and New Zealand drew nil all in Dunedin, so the Kiwis are out of the finals. And Colombia upset Germany 2-1 in Sydney. Today sees Japan versus Spain at 7 p.m. in Wellington. Costa Rica vs. Zambia at 7 p.m. in Hamilton, Canada vs. Australia at 8 p.m. in Melbourne, and Ireland vs. Nigeria at 8 p.m. in Brisbane. And at the Netball World Cup pool games in Cape Town, South Africa overnight, Australia 101 vs. Uh, Fiji 32, Wales 68-56 over Sri Lanka, New Zealand 880 oh, um, 19 versus Singapore, Malawi 8448 over Barbados, Uganda 7434 over Trinidad, England 62, Scotland 37, Jamaica 67, South Africa 49, and Tonga 55 beat Zimbabwe uh, 46. The round four draws sees in the top eight Australia versus Scotland, Wales versus New Zealand, Jamaica versus Uganda, and Tonga versus England. While Zimbabwe versus Barbados, uh, Fiji versus Malawi, Sri Lanka versus Singapore, and South Africa versus Trinidad play off in the bottom eight. In rugby, Spain will be playing in the World Rugby Under 20 Championship for the first time in 2024 after a thrilling 39-32 victory over Uruguay in Nairobi, Kenya yesterday. Scotland vented their frustrations for not winning this under-20 comp, as expected by themselves and no one else really, securing third place with a 12-try 83-10 thrashing of Samoa for the bronze medal. And in combat sports, WBO world champion Terence Crawford made history in Las Vegas yesterday with his ninth round TKO, uh, TKO win over IBF, WBA and WBC world champion, no more, Errol Spence Jr., to become boxing's first world undisputed welterweight champion. With his record now standing at 40 and nil with 30 knockouts. The former lightweight and undisputed light welterweight world champion has won seven of his eight fights at welterweight by knockout plus this TKO win. In rugby league, it's war. All players kicked off their official boycott of the NRL last Thursday night. Starting with the Sydney Roosters versus Brisbane Broncos clash, all players made, made their way out onto grounds last round with patches of tape covering the NRL logo. The move escalates already tense pay negotiations between the Rugby League Players Association and the NRL. Meanwhile, on the field, the Broncos beat the Dolphins 23-22 uh, thanks to a Matt Burton field goal after Jermaine Isako missed the penal, uh, potential match-winning conversion in the final minute. Anthony Milford scored the second of two uh, second-half tries in the 79th minute to give Isako the chance to steal it, but he pushed his conversion wide. The Gold Coast Titans recorded one of their best wins of 2023, ending the Cowboys' six-game winning streak 22-13 at Seabus Super Stadium. The big talking point of the game was the second sin binning in as many weeks of Cowboys star Valentine Holmes for shoulder charges. And in sports biz, WBA, uh, sorry, NBA viewership was at an all-time high this season and didn't slow down for the playoffs. This year's conference finals between the Boston Celtics versus Miami Heat 
and Denver Nuggets versus Los Angeles Lakers saw a combined 81.11 million viewers across the re uh, 11 games. A 10% increase over year over year. And that's a slam dunk. For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.